Hey guys, here's a quick overview of the new Maurice Lacroix Pontos S Diver, which is basically a recreation of the original from 2013, which makes this the second generation of the model. This watch has 300 meters of water resistance as opposed to the 600 meters of the previous one. Lowering the water resistance has allowed Maurice Lacroix to make certain changes that make it a more wearable and elegant watch for every day. First, we have the slightly smaller size at 42mm compared to the 43mm of the previous version. Another significant difference is the thinner case, coming down to 13.35mm versus 15mm previously, which is very significant. How does the Pontos S Diver measure elapsed time underwater? Well, it has an internal rotating bezel. The key advantage is that the bezel is protected and won't get bumped underwater compared to an external one. How you engage the internal bezel is via this screw down crown here, which is a very easy system to use. What you do is unscrew this crown. And the fact that it's at the two o'clock position means that it is easy to access while the watch is on your wrist. From there, you adjust to whatever spot you want. And then after that, a slight push, and then you screw it down. You'll notice, well, slight changes over the older model if you look closely. For example, the textured dial, the addition of minute hash marks to the internal bezel, and many others. But the overall look is the same as before, which fans of the older model had requested. What Maurice Lacroix has done, though, is to make the right adjustments to a popular icon, which has made it overall a more refined and wearable diver. In fact, that internal bezel system is so nice to use that I might just try this watch in the water as his first experience with one. Here's a view of the closed case back. And here it is on my 16.5cm wrist. The Pontos S Diver comes in three versions. Aside from the black dial already shown, there's a white dial version that comes with white or blue strap options, as well as a limited edition bronze version with a blue dial. Which one do you prefer?